What's up guys? Tano Brock here with a quick home studio tutorial for you. So, last week I posted a video on how to stream with the DAW, OBS, and Universal Audio interfaces. First of all, thank you for all the feedback and comments and messages. I received a lot of messages telling me how helpful it was and how you've been using my tips, so you guys are awesome. Thank you. Keep it coming. However, there have been issues and people have expressed problems dealing with Soundflower, and I get it. Soundflower is kind of clunky and it doesn't seem to be working for everyone. So, if you have a universal audio interface, I'm going to show you how to stream with OBS or any other streaming platform without using Soundflower or anything like that. Just awesome music, UAD interface, and boom, stream. So let's get right into it, after the intro. Alright guys, welcome back. So, here I am in Universal Audio's console app. Now basically, what we want to do is treat console as our central mixer. So all audio that we want to send to our stream, we're going to send through console, mix it here, and then just send a stereo output to our streaming platform. Now, the fundamental problem that we have to fix is that if I were to select Universal Audio Thunderbolt interface as my input source in OBS or Zoom or Facebook or YouTube or whatever streaming platform you want to use, it'll only hear the first two inputs of my interface. For instance, I have my Apollo X8 here, which has four mic preamps and eight line inputs, and I have my vocal mic hooked up to input five through my Neve preamp. If I select my interface as the input source on a streaming platform, it's not going to actually hear input five. It's only going to be hearing inputs one and two, and that's because it treats it just like any other stereo input and output source with two channels. So the fix is easy. Go to settings and console, and if you watched last week's video on streaming from a DAW, you'll remember how we found the monitor left and right inputs in the I.O. matrix. So go to your I.O. matrix and scroll down until you see monitor left, right. For me, that's 27 and 28. I think depending on which interface you have, those numbers might be different. But in any case, they're definitely not going to be inputs 1 and 2. Inputs 1 and 2 are mic line high Z1 and mic line high Z2. So... This might sound weird, but we're going to make channels 1 and 2 monitor left and monitor right. So click here, make this monitor left, go to the next channel, and make this monitor right. So now inputs 1 and 2 are monitor left and monitor right. That means any platform that treats our interface as a stereo source and only hears the first two channels will now be hearing the output of our monitor section in console. So now any audio in your system, as long as Universal Audio Thunderbolt is selected as your output source, will be sent to the stream. Now let's open OBS to make sure this is working. Alright, so here's OBS. Let's add a new audio input capture source. Let's call it console and choose Universal Audio Thunderbolt from the drop-down. Okay, so now if I unmute my vocal channel in console, we should be getting signal here. Check, check, check. Yep, that seems to be good. And also if I play any audio on my computer, like from Spotify for instance, we should also get it in OBS. Alright, so as you can see, all the audio in our system is being sent through console's monitor out to OBS, which will then be sent to the stream. So we're good to go. Alright guys, that pretty much wraps it up for me today. So, pretty simple. I uh, hope it was helpful. And remember, you don't need OBS to do this. This should work with pretty much any streaming service. As long as you choose your Universal Audio interface as your input source on your streaming platform, you should now be sending your monitor left and right to the stream. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any more questions in the comments. And as always, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I look forward to seeing and hearing all of your awesome live streams. All right, see you in the next video.